Okay. What the? Cool. That is mine. Must have been very strong. Stung me. Okay, sit down. Damn it. Ah, my neck's killing me. Oh, I was probably just a bee. More like a hornet. Such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it. Awkward. I've seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Well, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you, the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then, you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. for the tunnel.
is very dangerous man
Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. That's all I had to do. Flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Taking them on by myself. I get myself into I'll give you two packs and not a single sick more. Nah, never mind then. Bye. Wait. Show us some of this boat. Ugh. <sighs> 
I'm inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Swing first on every situation. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead. And now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapse. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were outside the city? Why do you think I killed everyone? Or anyone? Ask him that question first. When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there were that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. 
What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Hmm. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So. Will you help me? So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. The people here learn not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. What's that all about? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. Wait, distilled arts serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results and they say she is a witch. Well, how can a witch help you become a better bartender? A mixologist, and she's not a witch really, but a healer. The superstitious call her a witch. 
Ah, oh, so she makes potions and such. Indeed, and only she possesses the knowledge of combining ingredients properly to ensure I'm not poisoning my new customers. A carrier told me that this woman uses the guts of infected in her potions. Can you believe that? Not really. But you can see how it would be easy to create a deadly poison as a healing potion, right? I suppose. So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. Yeah, naturally. Where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. Don't think you'll have to try too hard to convince people to drink booze. Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. But I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. Hey, Hakon, are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Me too? Without infected in them, of course. Do you have alcohol? If you're lucky, like me. <laughs> Found this bottle in a basement while on patrol. Hey, so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's gotta do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you wanna join us? What I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? Hmm. We have excellent craft masters in the Metro HQ if you're looking to upgrade your weapon system. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. <coughs> Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, man. Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital at our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim. You got it. It takes balls to wander off-road like that. Citizen, welcome to Old Villador's PK Command Center. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people.
I don't believe the commander was killed by anyone from the bazaar. Who else would want him dead? Fuck knows. Lucas was a real hard ass. Didn't take shit from anyone. Guy like that, bound to have enemies all over. Let me tell you one thing. If Vader doesn't find Lucas's murderer, Jack Matt will personally hang him by his balls on a branch. Well, Vader sure gained a lot from the commander's death. What are you trying to say? <sighs> nah, nothing. Only that it was because of Lucas's death that Vader was promoted to commander. But you suspect Vader is involved in Lucas's murder? I suspect that if you eavesdrop, you'll get yourself hurt. Or worse. there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Get your PK goods here.
Tell me all. So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I would. Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas' death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas' charisma. He's going to have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Cabatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. We have a safe place to crash by the windmill. And why are 
Why did I fertilize the karmic? All of my plants rotted away. Oh, those things are beyond. You have to pay me the money. You've gone quiet. Look at that! And another windmill back in operation. They when one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when <coughs> the commander's killed, they turn the place upside down. What I'm doing is the essence of survival. The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah. What else? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how could I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. What do you mean scraps? For a fragrance? Oh yes, metal scraps. Ah, oh, so Turn Me On will be an aphrodisiac for robots, then. <laughs> Good one. You'll find out when it's time, if you bring me some scrap, along with some lavender. In return, maybe I'll let you in on my secret. Nara said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Nara wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Make perfume out of metal. Oh, no. I, I missed it.
that be? <laughs> what? Time no seen. <laughs> you too as well, man. Thank you. 
night activity. Mm-hmm. 